Hi, I'm Chris. You've reached the Cute with Chris Complaints line. Let's get to our first complaint. Chris, you effin' suck. Your last episode was an extended commercial for your new t-shirts that you're selling. You better do something funny or I'm gonna stop watching. I used to be your number one fan. Dave, 19, Cincinnati. Thank you for your email, Dave. Well, I can't deny it. You are right. It was an extended commercial for my brand new line of t-shirts for sale at cutewithchris.com. I've learned my lesson, Dave. Next time I make t-shirts, I won't do anything to promote them. I'll just sit with them here in their boxes in my room alone forever and ever. Because nobody buys them because they don't know they exist. Dave, I live to entertain you. I'm gonna make it up to you. I would be happy to send you your very own pervy hit that donut shirt for free. Okay, that's my peace offering. I am sending you an email right now requesting your size and home address, and I beg you to please remain my number one fan. A viewer pets now. Time for viewer pets. Today's viewer pet is Chili the goat who likes to eat hats. I'm also gonna show you Rambo who likes to wear snacks on his face and Ishigo the kitten who's had a hard start in life. Complaint number two comes from Sandra in Texas. Excuse me, Chris, I couldn't help noticing a big difference between the female models in your t-shirt store and the male models wearing your t-shirts. The female models weren't wearing pants. That is sexist. Where is the male model without pants, huh, Chris? Us crazy cat ladies want pantless males. Give it to us now. Uh, thank you for your letter, Sandra. I honestly had not noticed that when I photoshopped my designs onto existing pictures. I do think it is only fair to have pantless male models. It's just where the hell am I gonna get a pantless male model? Oh, no. Oh, God, no. No, no, no. Although technically he is a cat, so he could be pantless and my video wouldn't get flagged. I think there is only one person who can hook me up with a pantless male model. Dear Miranda. Well, last time on the Cute Down, I asked you to vote on which sticker I should manufacture. Freeze upon arrival, Rush Medical Supplies, or I Like Towels. The votes have been tabulated and the winner is... I guess you're gonna have to wait for your packages to arrive in the mail to find out. But here's the problem. I'm sick. I have a serious shipping supplies addiction. I went ahead and ordered a whole bunch of additional stuff since, since my last video. For example, I ordered some special labels officially sanctioned by the US Department of Transport. I don't think they're actually gonna give them to me because I'm not a trucking company, but if I can talk them into it, you may find a sticker on your package that says, danger, flammable liquid. And then I asked them to write this little message underneath. Thank you for supporting cutewithchris.com. Now your postal carrier will think you're a terrorist. Let's be friends. Oh, it's a response from Dave, my number one fan who I offered a free t-shirt. Dude, cool. Maybe I'll sell it on eBay, lol. Send me the gray one though, because the donut one is kind of lame. Sorry, man. Thank you for your email, Dave. Most of all, thank you for giving me your home address. I guess now I know where you live. I'm gonna send you a package addressed to my number one fan. I won't say what's going to be in that package, but I will say this. <laughs> Bitch gonna get a pan. <laughs> okay, here we go. It's my reply email from Miranda. You may remember several weeks ago, Miranda sent in a picture of her gay cat Growler staring at her boyfriend Mike's naked buttocks. Chris, she writes, here are some pictures of Mike modeling your cute with Chris t-shirt as requested. Okay, I'm opening up Miranda's pictures. I'm looking at Mike in the Chris and Colty t-shirt on the beach. Now I'm looking at him emerging from the water in a wet Cute with Chris t-shirt and warming up by the fire with no pants on. You know, just when I lose faith in my viewers, they do something so kind. Thank you, Miranda, for pimping out your boyfriend's ass for the sake of the cult. I'm not going to post these pictures. I think I need to learn to stand on my own two feet. I can't keep depending on Mike's buttocks to bail me out every time I need traffic for my website. So thank you, Miranda, for pimping out your boyfriend's baby smooth man rump, but I cannot accept this offer. I will show this picture you took of Mike on the beach wearing, wearing a Cute with Chris t-shirt. And if you go to cutewithchris.com, I will post the pictures of Mike emerging from the ocean in a wet Cute with Chris t-shirt. You know, next week I'm gonna get an email from Dave going, where's the female in the wet t-shirt? 
Cute down. Well, today on the CuteWithChris.com Cute Down, we ask you who is cuter? Jilly, the girl who likes to eat hats. Ishigo, the kitten who had a hard start in life. Or my viewer Mike, who is a very good sport and also happens to be modeling the Chris and Colty t-shirt. On sale now at CuteWithChris.com. No buttocks for you. Cast your vote by visiting my website, CuteWithChris.com, and we'll see you next time on... Cute! With Chris. Oh. No. Oh. God, no. No, no, no.